Hi everyone, it's Chanel with Color Me Stylish and I'm coming back this week because I get a lot of questions and sometimes I start to second guess myself as well that when you get invited to an event and the invitation either says formal or semi-formal. So it's kind of hard to figure out like, okay, what exactly should I be wearing for formal versus semi-formal? And so in this video, I kind of wanted to share with you guys just some things that I would pick out for myself to wear and maybe you can get some inf inspiration as well with that and then accessories um, that you can just add to maybe a semi-formal outfit and just bring it up a little bit so and make it a little bit more formal so you can still be comfortable wear what you already have instead of spending a lot of money um, but then still kind of take it up a notch so I hope you enjoy and before we start if you are new Welcome, thank you so much. My name is Chanel and I love doing videos. I upload every week. Please hit the subscribe button and your notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. Okay, let's go ahead and start. So for this first look, it just gives me Barbie vibes. I love the big bow in the front. Um, I actually picked this up from Amazon probably two years ago, um, but I'll see if I can link something similar in the description. Um, but I love this one. This would definitely be formal um, just because of the length. And I just love it because even behind the bow, if you wanted to add your own belt, um, just to kind of bring it up a little bit, you can, or just kind of make it color blocking. And for a lot of these looks, I will be using a lot of the same shoes and earrings or accessories just so you guys can focus on the outfit but I love the stretch it's super comfortable but this would definitely be for a wedding that's formal and for this look I just loved it I wanted to do the big Shaka Khan hair um, for some of these but all of these pieces are from Zara um, but I just love this this would definitely be semi formal um, just because you can kind of just it's longer it's dressy but it's still a little bit in between and the belt both of these belts are from Zara so you can kind of add rhinestones or you could even add gold to it just depending on your accessories just to kind of you know bring up up, you know the glam look if you like or just kind of keep it as is but I just love these pieces as well but this is definitely semi-formal and for this look definitely as well this would go into the category of semi-formal only because it does have you know the rhinestones the glitter but because of the length yes I love wearing a mini skirt I love my legs um, but you would definitely you know wear this to um, you could even just wear this to the club or you can just say you know wear this you know to just an evening out a dinner or something that is leading up to a wedding maybe the night before a rehearsal maybe not in white um, but a different color just to kind of you know add that glam to it or if you have like a dinner function with hubby things like that you would definitely want to wear something like this just because the length is shorter you want to be kind of mindful of where you're wearing this as for this one, this falls into dressy casual. So this I love because these are one of the pieces, this dress, it's from Zara as well, but you can dress it up or you can dress it down. So I've worn this with like a jacket over it and some flats um, or, you know, an evening out, I could wear this as is with dressier accessories, um, a higher heel, things like that. But I just love the stretch on it. It's very comfortable, um, but something like this, maybe a beach wedding um, or again a rehearsal dinner dinner with friends things like that um, this would fall into that dressy casual um, category For this look, this is one of my favorite dresses. I picked this up here in Mexico, um, but this is definitely formal just because of the length. It has a lot of like just that, um, you know, rhinestone, that glitter, that super glam, um, but it's also very comfortable. And again, it works with the accessories that I'm wearing. So again, this would be a great option for a black tie event or a black tie or formal wedding. Um, and I actually did wear this to a 
formal wedding last um, October and it was a hit, but I just love how comfortable it is and that it has those, you know, parts of black in it just so that you can kind of just dress it up with different um, accessories. You can add red, you can add a rose gold accessory, earrings, things like that, but the makeup is definitely super full glam and I absolutely love that, but I loved the makeup look as well because it went with every outfit as well. So for this look, I picked this up um, a while back from H&M. They always have their smart business um, section. So this would definitely fall into the category of dressy casual. So if you have a, say a Christmas, um, you know, office party or just a regular office party where you need to be a little bit more, you know, covered, a little bit more modest, um, but you still want to just have that touch of glam, um, this is a great option. It has a zipper back um, and it's just, it's really comfortable I love this but I love pieces like this because again you can add a belt to this you can add different accessories just to change the look um, and you can even add flats to this just to kind of make it a little bit more casual if you need to so this is a great option if you're looking for something that's a little bit more office friendly you know church um, you know a simple wedding if you just want to be a little bit more modest um, or just things like that where you just need something to be a little bit more tailored and for this look I love anything that is in a halter style just because my shoulders I just love to accentuate that um, but this would definitely fall into semi formal um, it's just again you can I think the way that it's cut, it wouldn't be dressy casual just because it has like, you know, the cutouts and the higher slit. Um, so again, this would fall into dressy casual, you know, just the way that it, you know, drapes on the body. It's a little bit more sexy. It's a little bit more fun, um, but you can definitely wear this again to a wedding um, or a rehearsal dinner, um, things like that, or even just dinner out with friends. You know, not so much the office party, well, depending on where you work, um, but just it's a little bit more sexy. It's a little bit more fun. So this would definitely fall into semi-formal and then you can kind of just dress it up even more with the different accessories that you would be wearing. And for this, this can go either way. It can either be semi-formal or it can also go into formal, only because who doesn't love a little black dress? Black just elevates any outfit and just makes it a little bit more glam. And I love this because it does work for formal as well because it does drop below the knee. So it's just a little bit more, you know, just modest, a little bit more, you know, just sexy, but not too over the top, you know, you know, just covering um, the chest a little bit more more but still showing you know your shape and everything so you still get that sexy vibe but this can work for either or formal or semi-formal and again I love dresses like this because you can add a belt you can change the different accessories you can do gold you can do red and just kind of change up the whole look depending on where you're going And for this dress, I have not worn this yet, and I am just waiting for my next event, which I have some coming up in November. Um, but this is, again, because of the length and because of the slit, it is beautiful, it is sexy, and it definitely falls into the category of formal. So this would be a great option for a black tie event, um, a formal wedding, things like that. Um, and I just love the one-sided style. So you just kind of, you give, you know, neck, and decollete and everything but nothing is too out not too much cleavage um, but it's form-fitting it's super stretchy and I picked this up from a local shop here in Mexico City um, but it's just stunning and I just love the detail of the pearls and everything and again you can change the color of the accessories things like that so if you want to add that pop of color you know red rhinestone earrings even pink or rose gold with a rose gold bag or shoes would definitely make a statement
And for this look, this definitely falls into semi-formal, only because it does have, you know, that glitter, that glam, but because it's on the shorter side and, you know, just has a little bit more of, you know, the cleavage showing, things like that, a little bit more sexy. Um, I kind of do wish this had like a belt just to kind of break it up. I think I was feeling a little bloated um, that day when I was filming. Um, but again, it's so comfortable and I do love that if you don't want to have it, you know, too sparkly, too over the top, you can kind of add those accessories, but it's a little bit more plain um, in the back. So you just have it straight black, you know, in the back, things like that. So, but this is semi-formal and just absolutely beautiful. And for my last look, this is a beautiful red. This was actually made from my sister. And if you could believe it, this is actually my prom dress from 1999. And it still fits, I still use it. it my sister did such an amazing job, but this would fall into um, semi-formal, but I definitely wear this for more formal um, events, things like that. But I just love how it just has like that slip dress inspired um, 90s, which this is from 1999. Um, but it's just, it's so comfortable. I love this. It has a zipper part on the side, um, but I just, I adore this dress so much. And she's just always surprised that I still wear it and I still have it, but I just, I love it. I love how it fits and hey, once it fits, you can't you can't go wrong um, but I thank you guys so much for watching and just kind of getting some tips on you know what is casual what is semi casual and what is formal and just where to wear these things and if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that right now and I will see you guys next week for my next video